How's it going there YouTube? It's Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge or the S6. It really works on both variants and we're going to be able to show you how to easily root your device with a simple a application and it doesn't even trip your knocks so your warranty is still intact. So this should be a fun video, very simple and easy to use. Let's go do this. So let's root this Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. To do it, it's very simple. Just follow along. Go to your search bar, type in ping pong root. I actually have it already saved up there. So ping pong root in your Google search. And normally, if the search results come up, it should. It's going to be this XDA post on ping pong root. And like I said, it works on the S6 or the S6 Edge and on many, many variants. So you're going to click on that. Um, you know, pick your browser for preference. I like Chrome. And then it's going to go through here and show you some great information. I recommend this first post here in the thread just to read through it all so that you're up to speed on how it all functions. Um, obviously, I'm going to go through it. The big thing you want to check out for your device is look right here. It says supported devices. And make sure your build number is listed in the list. Here's all, those are the S6, and then here's all the build numbers for the S6 Edge that should function with this exploit. It also works on the HTC One M9 if you have an all include loader. It's kind of an experimental stage. All right, let's go back into that, sorry. Now, to make sure you have the right uh, build number, like I said there, for supported devices, um, you're basically gonna go into your settings on your phone. So let me just show you what I'm working with. So go down here to About Device, and the numbers they're showing off is the build numbers. So when it looks for supported devices, you want to look at your build number. The other thing that's good to look at is your Android version. That might help you figure out if your build number is supported. Last thing I want to point out is that this does not trip Knox, so your Knox security is still going to stay intact by using Ping Pong Root. All right, we've done all that. Let's go ahead and do this. So go back into here. And if you scroll to the bottom of the post, basically you're going to find, if I can get down there, um, this APK. So it is Ping Pong Beta 6 APK. So this is really awesome, very easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. If there's a newer version, obviously download the newer version. Once you get it downloaded onto your device, we'll scroll down up here. Here you can see it's downloaded. Just click on it. It's going to say the install is blocked. So we're just going to go to settings unknown sources hit ok now it lets you install ping pong root so go ahead and hit install and this is really nice and easy to use this now originally when ping pong came out it installed king user which is a super user application for managing root access but who likes that stuff we want super suit at least the version i'm installing right here is going to have super suit so that's really awesome so we'll actually have Super Sue on the device. So right here you can see it's going to go ahead and ask you to install it. So hit unknown sources, okay. Install Super Sue. So I'm just really happy that they updated Ping Pong Root with Super Sue. Go ahead and hit open, actually. So it says there's no Sue binary. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna bring us back to here, Ping Pong. So say get root. And what it should do is just go ahead and reboot the device. Upon reboot, you should have root access on SuperSuit, so we're going to check that once it finishes up here. It does take a quick second. Alright, um, device recommended reboot device now. Let's go ahead and say OK. This is really like the easiest way to um, get root access on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and it said just to reboot. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Restart. There we go. Um, this is the T-Mobile variant. You can see that's what I've got here, the Galaxy S6 Edge. Um, I'm really liking this device. It's really nice, and this is an awesome root method. So let's just let this finish up. All right, that should be it. To test to make sure you have root access, let's go in here. It should say Super Sue. There you go. It came up. It didn't give you any warnings. That normally means you have root, but we'll just check it too. So go to Root Checker. Verify root access. You should get your pop up here. It might be a little slow because I did this so fast. So let's see. Um, just because when you boot up your device and then instantly start trying to do things, it, it has a little lag to it. 
Um, that's pretty much true across the boards. There you go. We're going to grant it. And do not grant this T-Mobile thing. Deny that. We don't want T-Mobile to know we have root access. But there you go. It says, congratulations, you have root access on your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Very awesome. Like I said, Universal works on many variants and a very simple and easy process. So big shout out to the guys that put this together. Ping Pong Root. Absolutely love it and very easy to use, keeping your knocks intact. Hope you guys liked this video. Stay tuned for more videos on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and all the devices I cover. There is a ton of them. Those recording with also the Note 4 I've got coming. Uh, some cool footage on that hopefully soon as well. That's going to wrap it up for me. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.